Well, here we are again, around a neon cactus. Woo! Nice one. All right. We are back. Welcome to Around a Neon Cactus, episode 33. We hope you guys are doing great. We took off last week uh, to kind of pause with everything going on in the world. It was really great and inspiring to see all the peaceful protests all around the world. Um, we're fully uh, in support of some positive change coming out of these times. Um, but without further ado, we've got a great show. We're really excited to be back playing lots of new music for you. And uh, this is a special episode. Jerry's going to tell you about kind of the theme of tonight's episode. So thanks for joining us. Welcome. Yes. What's Hello. up, y'all? Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to spread some joy to you guys. We, uh, this episode, we're going to feature two new songs that we've never had a chance to play ever. Um, and there are two songs that we wrote with a fantastic writer uh, and artist in his own right. He, he, he was a member of the band Better Than Ezra. His name's Kevin Griffin. We love him. He's, uh, we can call him a friend now, I think. Uh, he's our homie and uh, an excellent writer. And uh, in fact, all the songs from this episode are going to be songs we wrote with Kevin Griffin. And uh, without further ado, let's, uh, he's just, you know, he's badass. <laughs> let's get to it, shall we? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do, um, we've actually played this one on Around Neon Cactus before. But uh, we love it so much, and it's a really great song, and I think the message is just really, really beautiful. You know, just be in the moment and um, kind of a care carefree uh, kind of lyric to it. This is Enjoy the Ride. Some days you want to be a rock star Some days you just want to be cool You want to rule the world, got to get the girl Want to drive a big car, I don't know where to start Enjoy the ride. 
Mm-hmm. That's a nice song. Very nice, boys. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't go chasing what ain't broke. Man, my... I, need to, I need to read those lyrics to myself every day to remind myself. <laughs> don't go fixing what ain't broke, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Not chasing. I'm just, the only thing I'm chasing is this margarita right here. <laughs> We've written a few times with Kevin, and in the early days, I think we got him to come to uh, my house, actually this room right here where we wrote yep. a couple tunes with him before he invited us to his house in Franklin, Tennessee, and kind of made us realize <laughs> why he never wants to leave there. It's a beautiful studio <laughs> there. Um, but this one... I think we had, did we do a two for one this day? I think uh, we had written, we had written a song. I forget which one it was, but at, it's, at, it's the one we're about to play after this one. That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we wrote a song and then Kevin was kind of just jamming and he had this chord progression for this next song we're going to play. And he just kind of started riffing this idea, cold, cold summer. Uh, we, we wrote this kind of sweet, sad, heartbreaking, but pretty uh, love song. Um, it's called Cold's Cold Summer, and uh, we're going to debut it right now. World premiere. Let's go. It's 98 degrees and my heart's about to freeze. It's a cold, cold summer. Yeah, she's hotter than July, but she's with another guy. It's a cold, cold Summer. Look at this night, melting the stars, and all of our friends are up in this bar. She's coming in, showing up here with him in the middle of Tennessee. Well, it's 98 degrees, and my heart's about to freeze. It's a cold, cold summer. Yeah, she's hotter than. That's how you world premiere a song, Jim. <laughs> Good job on those harmonies, boys. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Hell yeah. Very nice. Okay. Now, yeah, now this is the one we wrote same day as Cold Cold. So this, was, this song was written first. That's right. And um, what I like about this song is it's, it's like, it's one of those songs about young love and being young and being carefree and 
uh, you know, just those moments that you never really get back. And I don't think you cherish them enough when you're in them. Totally. And uh, so it was kind of fun to, to write and put yourself in that, in that place. And then, and everyone was kind of throwing out ideas. And what I love about it the most is KG's got this thing about, he, he has this thing where this line is going to be in a song and he'll make it work or, or, you know, or something that he wants to do like Cheech and Chong. He, he came Cheech and Chong. And he was like, that's gotta be in the song. And yeah. he made it work. Like it, it was in the song and he's always going on about, uh, he really made me appreciate pink. He really loves pink and her, the way she writes songs and, and little things. And he's always trying to slip pink things in there. So every time I think about pink, I think about KG. Yeah. Every time I hear this song, I think about KG. So this song, well, you- this song reminds me kind of of, it's like in the world of uh, summer of 69, uh, yeah. Jack and Diane. It's reflective, like thinking back on your first love and, yeah. and that, all that good summer vibe feel, you know? Absolutely, and we made we somehow did make Cheech and Chong work in a lyric, which is of kind of kind yeah. of ama- <laughs> amazing. Oh, yeah. Of course, oh, and yeah. I think we got a special guest on this one, maybe. Yeah, so too. I didn't want to say anything, but I don't mean to impose. Say, say <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it uh, with KG. This one's called "Those Nights," ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Griffin. One, two, three, four. Growing up was never part of the plan. Cut to school to start a rock band. Drinking and scheming about the weekend thing.
I liked having five voices on that one. Yeah. 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 Very necessary. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That you could see that's his. Uh, you got a little bit of a shot of his of his uh, studio out there in Franklin, which is where it's so so nice, so so awesome to write there. Um, he also has a, a really uh, badass basketball hoop, and we usually either before or after we write with him, we're always playing a game of horse. It's required. It's required. Yeah. Although he always wins because if you ever notice, we show up in boots and he has like basketball shoes. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. He's like doing stretches. Yeah. 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 We're on to you, KG. Yeah, no kidding. But uh, yeah, so uh, another one. That was another brand new song, um, Those Nights. But for this next tune, um, while we have uh, Kevin, uh, you know, via satellite in his uh, studio in Franklin, um, we're going to try and do uh, an old Better Than Ezra song. This is a song that I remember back in... uh, 90 the mid 90s it was one of my favorites and uh you know i remember better than ezra and jamming him on the radio and stuff and now when fast forward to today when we're riding with him and stuff it's just kind of trippy and we're really fortunate that he joined us on this next one or i should say we joined him really yeah right <laughs> exactly yeah let's do it i'm thinking we go back to 1995, actually 25 years ago, right now, this song was the number one song in the country. Woo! Yeah. Let's play it right now. It's a very difficult song. It's four chords, four chords and the truth. Follow me, boys. One, two, three, four. That song is pretty good. Classic. It's good. It's good. 
Classic. <laughs> well, thank you again for joining us around a neon cactus. We hope that you're safe and healthy and happy, and uh, we'll see you next week. We love I will you. say before we go. Hold on, before we go. Um, whoever's you know, you guys watching at home, if you haven't heard Kevin Griffin's uh, latest solo album um, titled "Anywhere You Go," check it out because it's really really cool. And yeah. Kevin, th thanks again for joining us. You're the best, man. Thank you, Kev. Love you, buddy. You. See y'all next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Tune in next week at 7.30 p.m. for another episode of Around a Neon Cactus. <laughs>